All right, now instantaneous acceleration and average acceleration. What's the difference? Uh, this is the, the same thing like our, what we had learned before, instantaneous velocity and average velocity. Okay, so instantaneous acceleration is acceleration at specific time. At certain time, acceleration at uh, 10 seconds, what's the acceleration at 10 seconds, what's the acceleration at 5 seconds, okay, at specific time. So, um, but for this one, we use velocity time graph to find the gradient of one point. Uh, so like this one, you see, a velocity time graph, velocity time graph. So uh, given one point, let's say the time at, um, let's say the time at, uh, the time at 10 seconds. Uh, what's the acceleration at this point at 10 seconds only? Uh, that's called the instantaneous acceleration. Okay, so, uh, so the acceleration at uh, the 10 seconds is uh, the gradient dvdt the gradient at the at that time uh, gradient at that time uh, because uh, at different time they have like this graph is a curve graph at different time it has different velocity uh, if you look at here uh, over here you see at zero second at zero second uh, the the acceleration which is the dvdt the gradient of velocity graph it is zero. Uh, so the acceleration at zero second, it is zero, zero meter per second square. Uh, the instantaneous acceleration at zero second is zero. But uh, at 10 second, the acceleration is not zero. Uh, it's not zero. Uh, so acceleration, instantaneous acceleration is acceleration at specific time. So uh, it is actually the gradient of velocity graph. If uh, talking about uh, velocity, velocity is the gradient at displacement graph. Displacement graph, yeah, gradient at displacement graph. But uh, for acceleration, acceleration is gradient at velocity graph. Okay, uh, you differentiate. Uh, if you have a velocity equation, you differentiate one time. But if you have a displacement equation, you differentiate twice. Uh, d d square s over d t square. I have one example about differentiation. Uh, you just can just look at the problems video, right? Uh, so that's the instantaneous acceleration, acceleration at specific time. But about average acceleration is exactly the same like uh, average velocity, yeah. Uh, but uh, for average acceleration, uh, yeah, it's same acceleration for certain period of time. That means it has a certain time interval. What's the acceleration of the object? from let's say from 5 seconds to 10 seconds uh, what's the average acceleration for that time range for that time interval eh? so the, uh, the the equation is average velocity average acceleration is change of velocity divided by the time taken or time interval which is v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1 which is delta v over delta t so see how similar is it to the compared to the velocity uh, if velocity, because we refer to the displacement time graph, we use S2 minus S1 over T2 minus T1 for average velocity, delta S over delta T, see? Uh, but for acceleration, we use velocity, V2 minus V1 over T2 minus T1 over delta, uh, which is equal to delta V over delta S, uh, delta T. So, uh, acceleration, very similar to the, uh, acceleration, very similar to the velocity, yeah? for equations okay that's the average acceleration acceleration for a certain period of time yeah v2 minus v1 or uh, over t2 minus t1 or we can also use a formula another formula we use uh, is um, v equal to u plus a t you know that ah this one this one also uh, average can find us the average acceleration ah because if you rearrange these equations if we rearrange this equation, this one becomes v minus u equal to a t, uh, and then a is equal to v minus u over t. Uh, t go, goes below, uh, so it becomes v minus u over t. Uh, this one also, this v minus u over t is actually the same as this equation v two minus v one over t. Uh, this is the t, yeah. T two minus t one is the time taken t. Uh, so this one also find us the average acceleration. Okay not the instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration find the gradient at one point 
yeah? but this one has a certain time frame okay uh, so looking at this graph again uh, velocity time graph to find the average acceleration uh, it's just the same like if you have a displacement equation if a displacement equation this is displacement graph to find the average velocity uh, you know uh, uh, we use this point to this point yeah? the, uh, this delta s divided by delta t uh, that's for average velocity and this is a short line short uh, for one point this for uh, instantaneous velocity so same thing like the acceleration also so, yeah for instantaneous acceleration uh, is acceleration uh, gradient at one point but if talking about average acceleration is uh, the whole journey for a certain time frame that means let's say from from this point up to this point uh, so take this the big triangle you know the big triangle ah so uh, taking the big triangle then we have v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1 uh, that's the that's the uh, average acceleration okay and to, uh, lastly the uniform acceleration is uh, the acceleration is constant uh, which is dvtt the gradient is constant that means if we have um, uh, if we have go back to the velocity graph uh, to average acceleration uniform no i mean uniform acceleration means you have a constant gradient uh, as a constant gradient uh, like this uh, you see that uh, so the gradient is uh, constant because the gradient of velocity graph the gradient of velocity graph is actually acceleration uh, it's actually acceleration and all of it is a constant gradient constant gradient the dvdt the dvdt dvdt is means the gradient of the graph is constant uh, so this is what i mean by uniform acceleration okay a linear graph uniform acceleration okay so that's all for this part